What we're going to do next is I'm going to actually create a new report, go into data sets, and this time instead of selecting JWC, I'm going to select table. When I select table, this is a unique way of actually defining your own data sets. You could add multiple columns and multiple rows and start adding sample data if you wish. Um, what I like to do in, in this example is take that Excel spreadsheet that I just created for you and I can actually do an import. So what you're going to see here is that down on the bottom left there's import spreadsheet. So you use first row as header, select the item, there's my data sheet, click open and there is the elements that I have imported. So we have our region, plant, product category, sales, and cost. And I can call this XLS query. Click OK. Expand the XLS query. And there are my columns. And then the same concept of dragging and dropping these elements to the palette to create the report. What's nice about this method, instead of defining a data source via JWC, is that you don't need to contact anybody in IT or in your DBA um, database administrator area to access any of the databases. If you have an Excel spreadsheet, you can start prototyping some of your data, how it will look in Pentaho um, in the Pentaho report designer using this method as well.